So today I just wanted to talk about an open problem. It has to do with a value called the crossing number of a graph. So what the crossing number is, is given any graph, like this one, it's the minimum number of crossings of edges that there will be in a planar drawing of the graph. In this graph that I just drew, you can see that we have a crossing here. However, we can draw this graph in a different way with no crossings in the plane. So the crossing number is zero. Let's look at a specific type of graph called the complete bipartite graph. This will consist of two partites of vertices. So every vertex in the top row of vertices is going to share an edge with every vertex in the bottom row of vertices and vice versa. This complete bipartite graph would be denoted K33. So what's its crossing number? Here we clearly have a lot of edge crossings, but we can redraw it in another way that minimizes these edge crossings. The way I've drawn it is a little weird, but the important thing is for you to notice that there is one edge crossing. Right there. So we know that the crossing number of this graph is at least less than one. As it turns out, the crossing number actually is one, meaning there always is going to be at least one crossing. It's not a planar graph. Now, while this is somewhat intuitive to us, you know, especially if you try to draw it yourself a couple times, you'll see that you're going to have to run into that edge. It's not, it's not necessarily obvious how to prove it. So there are two proofs, of, um, uh, two proofs of this that I've seen, one that's very topological and the other that has to do with Euler's formula with edges and faces and stuff. And that one with, with Euler's formula, I'm going to do in another lesson. But the point is you're just going to have to take my word for it that the crossing number is one. Well, what about K44? or K55, or any of the other higher values. As it turns out, we know what K55 is, and we know what K77 is, but we don't know what K99 is. And that is an open problem. It's conjectured that there's actually a formula for all of the complete bipartite graphs crossing numbers. And so far, up until 9, it's held true. For more information about this conjectured construction, I'm going to make another video. For now, I just hope I succeeded in explaining to you guys what the crossing number means and that that is an open problem for the crossing number of certain graphs. Happy December!